In today's video, we will go through the moments leading up to the downfall of the Stampy Longhead channel. Before the channel we all know and love was made, there was Stampy Long Nose. I got the name from a character in an animation I had made called Stampy Long Head. Joseph Garrett aka Stampy made the Stampy Long Nose channel at around the age of 15. Like most videos at the time, it was just a random hobby for him. This later transitioned into stop motion and claymation, as well as the occasional parkour bloopers. While this seems like a somewhat lucrative channel idea, Garrett had no thought of monetization for a very long time. This all changed as YouTube started to become THE YouTube we know today. As more and more creators started to do YouTube full time, Stampy saw a huge opportunity. On July 29th of 2011, the Stampy Longhead channel was created. Before the famous Minecraft Let's Plays on his lovely world gained traction on YouTube, he primarily posted videos on Let's Plays and story games. The first video he posted on this channel was the game Journey. This is Stampy Longnose and welcome to a Let's Play of the PlayStation Network game. Called Just like his later videos, he talked and acted in a very upbeat and happy mood. This later transitioned him into other games, specifically Minecraft. On May 19th of 2012, Joseph released his first ever video in the Stampy Lovely World series. He may not have known it then, but this would lead to one of the most famous rises in popularity on all of social media. By 2013, Stampy had grown his audience and switched to being fully family friendly. He also began to collaborate with other big YouTubers in the industry. For example, Ibalistic Squid. The two had very different channels, but to a kid it seemed like very different worlds, but they were somehow linked together. It was very exciting to any kid that watched either channel, and things like this really skyrocketed him to his wild success. Okay, now you've heard the story, but here we arrive at the downfall. One thing that marked the decline of the Stampy Longhead channel was some very serious legal matters. Stampy's helper, and one of the main characters if you will, was accused of several crimes. Because of this, much blame was put on Stampy and his channel, as the two had worked together very frequently. After this, it seemed like while the views were dropping, so was the motivation within Joseph Garrett. He shifted his focus to writing a book, hindering his video production time. And on top of this, Stampy was growing up, making it much harder to enjoy playing a game originally designed for kids just like Minecraft was. We fast forward to 2017 where Joseph Garrett is 27. Around this time, Stampy decided to take a relatively long break from YouTube. He did come back though, and he began to shift into making more live content. However, he would only get around 100,000 viewers per stream, an astounding number, but a huge drop off from his almost 5 million average on his older videos. You could say that the Stampy Longhead channel never truly fell off, but simply changed. No matter what, Stampy is still a legend on the social media scene, and nothing can change that. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want more like it, make sure to let me know who you want me to discuss next in the comments. I know this isn't usually what I do for my videos, but I wanted to make something like it, mainly because Stampy is a huge part of kids my age childhood, and I just thought it would be a really interesting topic to discuss. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching to this point in the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.